Peace, power, soul, and activation. This is the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Anuclear, leader amongst other leaders here in the United Nations of Next Nuclear Vegetarians moving forward. One more time, um, this is the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Anuclear, leader amongst other leaders and host here in the United Nations of Next Nuclear Vegetarians um, moving forward. Um, today's date is. November 28th, 2021, 8.45 a.m. Um, again, welcome back, vegetarians. Welcome back, activated men. Welcome back, activated women. Today's topic at hand is future access to level one. Future access to level one. One more time. Future access to level one. Hashtag UNONC. Hashtag vegetarians, hashtag UNONC. Moving forward, we're going to keep um, extending the activation of frequencies um, here on this planet. And furthermore, uh, by way of us extending the, uh, these activation of frequencies from the upper dimensions, by way of pulling from the upper dimensions um, and pulling from these next dimensions, the intelligence and set forth that much energy um, being pulled down is causing so much of a uh, rapid increase of, of our processing our organic processing of the rays that are um, being emitted from all suns and, and all stargates and what you say all the energy is being um, allotted for us to evolve upon we, we are able to uh, pull in and process this intelligence and move forward by way of it or again like I've, I've always said you can extend or you can be expended so future access to level one ultimately denotes that what i mentioned before that if you were listening to um our previous podcast that we did um referencing let me which podcast was this but uh, talking about examples um where i mentioned that the sun is like a scanner the sun our many suns or our many different uh, stargates those different portals act, act as scanners so if you uh have been listening to our recent podcast that we've been doing on Podbean. Check out Brother uh, AF1's recent Podbean broadcast that he did. Check out that was his very, very uh, first uh, single uh, broadcast that he did on Podbean. That man was fire on that broadcast. Check him out again as well as on YouTube, uh, Vegetarian's Activation Channel. Again, Vegetarian's Activation Channel. Shout out Brother Cosmo as well because, again, we are ones walking for ones walking for ones. Again, being the 1%. Uh, outside of the 99%, check out that podcast as well. Um, so, again, you know, we talked about that again. How our DNA, our DNA, being that it was um, encoded with the binary code of one zero one zero one zero, or again, us wrapping our minds around the binary code of one zero one zero one, breaking the quantum computer. That ultimately, uh, you know, the sun doesn't register people who operate on the 101010 frequency or that's binary code frequency or dealing with the quantum computer we have stepped outside of the quantum computer being the ones walking with the ones walking with the ones walking with the ones and so forth that's why our number is 1111 our number is 11 because we are ones we are omni standing and ones stand for something ones are prime because they stand on top of all other numbers they lead all other numbers and so that's why we're the guy luminaries moving forward and again because that we are ones walking with ones the sun is registering us or we, the, the suns are constantly scanning us scanning our vessels scanning our minds scanning our souls and because we have pure souls and because our dea and our souls are basically uh have evolved to the dea from dna and now we are again it shifted the one zero one zero into one walking one 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 it being that because with the constant and continuous graduation or ascension and extension of our minds is showing that that is real because again the more that we keep on tapping our minds within or focusing our minds or tapping into the rays, the ray codes coming down, not the light codes, but the ray codes. We, we spoke about the difference between light codes and ray codes, but we're, we're tapping into the ray codes. And that's, that's, that's allowing us to traverse and extend forward mind, body, and soul. Um, and because that, like I said, that access, because our DEA registers 
or is scanned and being picked up by the sun as one, 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 and one, we have access to walk and traverse through all other stargates, through all other portals, because our souls are vibrating, our DA, and all of that is being activated. So we're shifting into a next dimension, a sharper dimension, a sharper perspective of us, a more refined and defined image of us is being uh being um with what you say being produced or not being produced but, but but being brought forth in these times because we're constantly moving constantly evolving so again you know our um perception to a lot of people you know how to how they perceive us might uh alter based on you know again our constant evolvement we're not stagnant people so again people who are stagnant they they can't evolve physically they can't evolve mentally and they damn sure can't evolve spiritually or socially so that's why it's important that we keep on um, moving forward and keep on extending our mind by the the future and again when it comes to uh the focus of the future access to level one what exactly is level one level one is the fourth dimension that fourth format that is the um because again once we as these pillars of lights ascend and move out of a third dimension then ultimately the third dimension will fold in on itself it will evaporate it will it will the spiritual realm will evaporate it will basically be decimated and destroyed and the next um the next frontier or the next step will be going to the uh, fourth format or going to the, the fourth dimension, which will act as the one, which will act as the one foundation that will allow us to traverse into the upper and outer dimensions, going from the fourth into the fifth, into the sixth, to the seventh, into the eighth, and so forth, all the way up to the 13th dimension, as we are currently channeling from the 14th dimension as these activated mind, bodies, and souls. So future access to level one, and level one is that again that balance because we are the one we're tapped into the one frequency which is bringing forth levity level levity balance would you say forward movement and forward flowing of energies that are becoming synchronized as the solergy begins to amplify and extend as more and more ones come together as more and more ones wake up and more and more and ones we basically have that future outlook and see the bigger picture while we're coming together why in this time we have shifted into a next dimensional rift because it's our time to take control to sit in our seats to move things forward again we are what you say in these times taking our seats we've taken our seats and have accepted our roles as we solar activated council check out that podcast as well too the solar activated council who are we that's who we are the solar activated council not the galactic council but the solar activated council because again we are the council's members the solar beings going in and out of these stargates and these star portals these stargates these portals again you don't hear any other of these so-called uh people here on the planet talking about being able to traverse in through portals because they know that they can't they know that they can't they know that their energy who they are doesn't allow them that ability to again to go through the portals because they don't have souls they will sit up there in front and say that they have souls but they have spirit they have spiritual energy which is confused artificial um confused and artificial offsets of what we have which is a soul lunar plexus versus solar plexus that's why we we are able to traverse through these portals and that's why again these humans down here can't figure out how to get through them because again they don't have the ability or the power to go through these portals because again it's not meant for them everyone has a purpose in this time and that's why we have the future access to level one level one is to be able to portal in and out of this dimension pretty soon pretty soon in the physical because even with our minds even with our minds we are, we are able to what you say even with our our souls our souls being in these vessels you know when, when we go to sleep you know our energies and our, our soul travels our soul travels through different stargates through through different um, dimensional um which is spaces as far as you know how amplify our soul because our soul is, is like a giant flashlight that's being amplified from this dimension all the way up to the upper dimensions so again that that continuous eternal uh flashlight of that flame that can be seen from the 
13th dimension, again, who we are as the Solar Activated Council, bringing forth balance, bringing forth the levity, bringing forth extended mutual clarity um, to the rising, to the 200 rising um, golden, activated golden beings moving forward. So um, future access to level one, future access to level one ultimately, again, is, um, again, us, our ability to, again, our alignments and our ability to continuously uh, open up our mind, bodies, and souls to the extended activation rays coming by way of the sun. And again, like I said, that sun is like a, a scanner, but you will see it at, at the Walmarts, at your convenience stores, those scanners, the sun is scanning us. And that's why we're, what we're able to upload because we have access. We are not being denied because, again, our DEA has evolved from DNA, and DNA deals with the 1010, zero, zero, and DEA deals with the ones, walking with the ones, walking with the ones, one, 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 one. Because, it, it, because for example, but they want to break it down. When you look at the, when you look at these uh, barcodes, they're all ones. Ones walking with ones, walking with ones, ones side by side with ones, and side by side with ones, and so forth. So again, that's the only way things. That's the only way a person, or again, a golden being, can be um, what you say, move forward, or can be able to be registered, or what you say, allow access to level one. They have to be able to be activated, and once you're activated, then again, once you're scanned, once you once you continuously align yourself, or are being continuously scanned by these suns and then different stargates, again, you will be able to again make the next movement. You will be able to tap into further intelligence, and again no longer need the assistance of information to stimulate because we have been activated information stimulates information stimulates intelligence activates the unknown activates because of the unknown i am activated because i want to know what's next i want to know the unknown <laughs> we want to un we want to know the unknown and know the further unknowns of other spaces and other dimensional rifts and places so with that being said um again we're tapped into uh the future access to level one level one that one frequency that one accord bringing forth that one foundation and that one foundation is the level one which is the fourth dimension that full format that we've overwritten i mean that we've been able to uh use to overwrite the 3d algorithm that fourth format has been able to overwrite 3d has been able to overwrite that 3d algorithm so um yes that's why right now we uh again this intel is brought to you by our higher selves that we bring forth in these days by our higher selves set in the upper dimensions and beyond as multi-dimensional solar activated light projections light pillars holding up the world so holding up this this dimension holding up the world holding up the planet because again we are the energies we, we are the primordial energies intelligence that came down here and started everything and started the building of dimensions from from the top down from the top down everything started from, from the top down that's why everything is, is continuously moving forward that's why everything is being able to continuously move forward in these times because again we're moving forward into the future by way of us knowing that we're in the past because again everything is that we've seen is primitive that we know is primitive that we know is behind so a lot of people are catching up these humans and humanists are catching up and we are perfectly in alignment as activated minds as these extended souls being able to extend further um by way of extended soul extension by way of being am amplified and activated by that further alignment or connection with these other stargates with with other collective ones with other collective council ones or the, with other activated ones that come over here or that are all across the planet but like i said there are a few of us there are a handful of us but then again there aren't that many of us 200 out of a trillion people on the planet which tells us that again we are exclusive we are again the ones in these times that will move the planet forward the people behind the scenes controlling everything that's us we're the ones pulling all the strings in this time as far as on a cosmic planetary level we're not talking about in this physical world dealing with money dealing with people no 
We're the ones controlling the ones that, that are doing that. We're the ones controlling the ones doing that. We're the ones giving them orders to bring forth some kind of balance on this planet. Whether it might cause disruption on one side of the planet, but again, we're bringing forth movement. No more stagnation. No more stagnation, movement, and what you say, evolution. Movement and evolution. So yes, uh, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep going and growing and extending mind, body, and soul into the upper and outer dimensions by way of, again, our uh, levity, being able to uh, have access to the level one, being able to access the intelligence in level one, and being able to physically, uh, what you say, go to the the that one foundation or that four format that has been built. All we have to do is pass on in this world, and, and we're there. All we have to do is keep on, what you say, having that discipline, that self-discipline or that intel of self, being able to portal with your higher self, you know, portaling one-on-one, -on -one, you know, ones portaling through the zeros or ones portaling, ones portaling through either um, the portals, one-on-one, -on -one, the one portaling through that, that hole, that zero, that portal. Ultimately, it, it's porous, the portal, that poor being able to, that portal being able to, again, um, pull in and uh, what you say, push out intelligence based on, again, you know, how powerful and how direct and necessary that intelligence is. That's why when we come together and focus our minds and our energies and our souls in one direction, like a laser beam, we can ultimately materialize there in the future. People think that we're going to need ships and stuff like No, we're going to just be able to think and, again, summon up all that solar energy all at one time and then shing, just what you say, materialize or what you say, uh, shift into um, an anatomical type of state and go into, a, like I said, materialize or extend into a different state and we just a teleportation or, like I said, go through these portals and go in and out say small portals and large portals inner and outer dimensionally so again you know i live by a portal and again if you didn't hear last night's live that we did yeah you know area 51 is a, a giant portal but again i'll say that i'll say that i'll leave that for a later podcast a broadcast to do but pretty much you know that's we have been able to access or we've allowed we, we excuse me we've been allowed access to um Further intelligence, and again, you know, a lot of things that a lot of people, regular people, can't see or fathom, we are seeing. Uh, would you say outer dimensional? Um, would you say observations by way of re remote viewing? Because again, we are able to remote view into the upper and outer dimensions, and, and even in the future, as well as you know, vice versa. The the future can see in the past as well as universally, any anywhere. <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, I'm going to keep moving forward with the next conversation um again this is but next to the radio show i am your host Sirius razus our nuclear leader amongst other leaders here in the united nation of next nuclear vegetarians moving forward so again um, this is the next nuclear radio show i am your host Sirius razus our nuclear leader amongst other leaders here in the united nation of next nuclear with that being said um, i'm going to keep extending my body so keep growing and keep um, say pushing forth the activation of intelligence to move the 200 rising forward, the ones walking with ones, walking with ones, walking with ones, breaking that cross the computer of ones and zeros and zeros and ones and one, all of that. It's all ones and I'm looking for it. No zeros because zeros are obsolete. Zeros are obsolete. Zeros are weight, dead weight. So with that being said, peace, power, soul, and activation, one love.